Welcome back to Talent Talk with your hosts, Aiden Coleman, Cortland Rhodes, and Keegan Gwynn. We would like to welcome our special guest, head coach, John Franco. Coach, how are you doing today? Oh, pretty good, Aiden. How are you guys doing? Oh, doing all right. Doing great. great. Got an extra helper here and everything. So. <laughs> yeah, brought a couple people up here. So, uh, Coach, how do you feel the team is doing this year? Well, uh, uh, you should know me well enough that, that I'm not going to be satisfied with it, and I'm not at this point. Um, I think we, uh, we have a lot of room for improvement. Uh, but, but we thought at the beginning of the year that it, it would take us a while to, to get things to mesh and that we had a lot of inexperience, um, uh, very few seniors coming back. Uh, these guys right here you know, have been the core of the team, and uh, unfortunately, uh, there aren't many others in their class that, that chose to come and help out, so they have had a big burden. But we feel that we're getting better every week, and we really think that by the end of the year, we are going to be at our best. And uh, hopefully that is the track we're on right now. Yeah, definitely. And uh, a big obvious one, COVID. Like, how has that affected the <laughs> team this year, and how's, how are you, like, going about all that stuff? i got to be careful what I say <laughs> here. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> the guys kind of know it, it, it has, it's actually been a bigger problem this year than last year. Really? Last year, uh, whatever the reason, the fact that maybe the, uh, the, the rules were different and, yeah. um, and the fact that the, the half the kids weren't in school with, with uh, everybody else, that, that it, it made for a, 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 a different environment. And we have had more kids out this year, not really being sick. We really haven't <laughs> had much sickness, but we have had a lot of people out because of contact tracing. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and unfortunately, uh, in a sport like football, where so many people have to play, you can't just have you know five or six kids healthy, then you're okay. I mean, it really affects uh, the rotations. Uh, it, it affects you know how much you play. and. Um, uh, it makes it very difficult, and we have had um, uh, a very difficult COVID situation this year, much worse than last year. And um, you know, we're trying to fight it, and we're, we're trying to be healthy, and we're hoping that we've turned a corner. But um, you know, uh, you, you just you never know from uh, one day to the next, let alone one hour to the next hour. So um, you know, we're we're still fighting it. It, it has not been positive. We're we're hoping that we can beat it, and uh, we just take it day day by day. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, Bald Eagle, this week, how do you feel you guys match up? Like, how do you feel going into this game? Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, at the beginning of the year, Bald Eagle was picked to be the best team in the league. Oh, we, wow. We knew that uh, um, it would be between Bald Eagle and Clearfield. Clearfield, yeah. And, and Clearfield thumped them pretty good, just like they thumped us. <laughs> yeah. And, um, and we, um, and, you know, Bald Eagle is very talented. They have just about everybody back from last year. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel we match up much better against uh, Bald Eagle than we did against Clearfield. Mm -hmm. and, and that always centers on our linemen. And, and we think our skill guys will match up against anybody in our schedule. But in football, as you know, the, the, the key to the games are uh, the matchups of the linemen. Definitely. Our offensive linemen against their defensive linemen and, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. and that is where we have had trouble this year because we have had really five of our six linemen, including our tight ends, are different this year than last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, that has made our growing pains um, uh, pretty difficult at this point. You know, having said that, uh, the three teams that we lost to were two and three at this point, which um, mm -hmm. in some cases you might think that's okay, but to me it, it really never is going to be okay. But the three teams we lost to are all ranked in the top five of their respective classes in the state, and they're all undefeated. Mm -hmm. um, but again, I still feel like we should have played better. And, and really the Clearfield game, the first half, we played awfully well. Yeah. It, sh it should have been 14-14 at half. And, um, and then we lost, it, it, we were down, how many, uh, we were down uh, like half our line. Yeah. And then we lose more guys in the second half uh, yeah. from cramping and injuries and what have you. So we just didn't have the bodies to stay with them. Mm -hmm. so, um, so we had a lot to build on. I honestly feel that 
we have been getting better every day. Last yeah. week and this week have been our two best weeks of practice. What do you guys think? Yeah, without definitely. Doubt. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Without a doubt. Yeah. And, um, and I, I think that uh, this is going to be a big challenge because mm -hmm. after this game right here, you know, um, we match up pretty well with, with the rest of our school. Of course, we have Holidaysburg. Yeah, they're always and pretty, they're big pretty tough. School, yeah. But, but again, you know, I, I think at that point, we're going to be a lot better than we are. Mm -hmm. So um, we're, we're trying to, to, to get this team to take one step at a time. Um, uh, we got to be patient. And mm -hmm. that's, uh, that says a lot for me because I'm the most impatient person in the whole football <laughs> team, players and coaches. So I, I'm not patient, but, you know, I realize that we – we have to be, and we are getting better. And, um, and that's like we said, come out and support us because the more support Definitely. we get, the better they're going to play and the better, better our team's going to do. Mm -hmm. Especially at home this week. Absolutely. That always, yeah. It's always a nice advantage especially to have. Especially with homecoming. Absolutely. Yeah, homecoming, big game. Yeah, absolutely. So the more energy in the stadium, mm -hmm. the better it's going to help our players. Definitely. Are there any key players to look out for on Bald Eagle? Yeah, Bald Eagle has, has some awfully good football players. Um, number three, who is their running back, and he's also their Wildcat quarterback, has been their leading rusher and leading scorer. He was a guy that really played well against us last year and, and hurt us a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, they have <coughs> two quarterbacks they use. One's a freshman who throws really well deep. Mm -hmm. They've got two receivers, num number 14 and number 19. And they actually have a slot, number 23, who, um, who, who is a really good skill kid. Um, their offensive linemen, uh, the, the guy coming back, number 68 and number 50, are the two guys that return. And then their other guys are, are uh, new, like our guys. So mm -hmm. we, I think we match up a lot better on the uh, offensive and defensive side of the lines than we've had in previous games this year. Um, I, I think their two defensive ends may be their best two defensive players, mm -hmm. which, which I'm sure Keegan likes hearing that. But I think, again, like I said, you know, we've been getting better there, so we really uh, need to, to work there. Um, they, they have really good skill kids. Uh, they, they've got a tough group of players. Uh, they, they were, like I said, ranked number one preseason, mm -hmm. and they, they deserve that ranking based on last year's performance. Yeah. Uh, they're four and one right now. We're two and three. So Try we to break have, even 500. Yeah, yeah, we have a lot to prove. And, mm -hmm. and um, so it's a big challenge for us. But I think the key thing is I think we match up a lot better against Bald Eagle than we have against several of our opponents mm -hmm. this year. Yeah, definitely. So how have, like, practices been and stuff, like you said about them being, like, nice and strong? Like, what have you been, like, telling them to prepare them for coming into this game? Well, you know what? Um, outside of our scouting reports where, where we'll tell them exactly what they do on mm -hmm. offense, defense, special teams, uh, the big thing with us, and it's always been my philosophy, is we focus on ourselves. We want ourselves, we want our guys to be better. We want them to get better every day. Mm -hmm. And when you have so many young guys playing, um, we, we have more sophomores than I want at this point. Uh, and I, I don't say that in a derogatory fashion. It's, it's like we, they're forced to play yeah. because we have so few seniors that it, it makes it difficult on them. But they're really coming through and playing well. We have a, a, a ton of juniors playing, mm -hmm. and, and they're getting better every day. So our young guys are getting better. We have a core group of seniors uh, along with Court and Keegan and Corey Beck, um, and, um, and and who am I leaving out, guys? Uh, Jake Johnson. Jake, Jake Trent, Johnson. Trent. Trent. You know, Trent's been a big surprise Frazzle. this year. Mm -hmm. Frazzle. Yeah, and, and so we, we, we've got a core of these guys that that have really worked their tail off, and I, I am so proud of our seniors because it would have been easy not to come out, and, and this is the last group that I – had not really been able to develop, and um, and, and it's sometimes it's tough when you have a coaching transition. Mm -hmm. But but they have really stuck with it. They have worked their tail off. They've bought into the program, and I can see the program turning back to where we want it to be 
Mm -hmm. I can see the culture turning back to where it was before. Yeah. And and a lot of that, uh, uh, in fact, not in fact, most of it has to do with these guys, guys like Portland and Keegan. Definitely. And Corey and the guys just just to get us back to where you know Tyrone is a well-respected, tough football team again. So mm -hmm. we're on that track. We still have a long way to go. Uh, this will be a big game to, to really see just really how far we've come. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I'm really anxious and excited uh, about it, and I just hope that the energy of our players you know, will reflect that. Yeah, definitely. So what can you like foresee in like, the future of the program, like this year, next year, the year after? Boy, man, you're, you know, I'm not a prophet. You know, but, uh, <laughs> we, when I came back, um, I came back for the sole reason was, was to get the Tyrone football culture back mm -hmm. to where it was. A and that is a culture of toughness. That is a, a culture of work ethic. And, and it, it, it is a culture of, of team. And then, you know, and our slogan was always Team Toughness Tyrone. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just three words. It, it, it was three words with a lot of meaning. And, and it's something that when you get it, and, and you know, it just gets passed from one class to the next. And the, and the kids coming up, they know what to expect. They know they have to, they have to bring their level of performance, their standard up. Mm -hmm. and, and, um, and, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that team toughness Tyrone attitude, that culture to be transmitted from one grade to the next so that, that we can get that, the program back to where it was. And, and I think we're on, on the track to doing that. Again, it's taking some time. Uh, uh, again, I, I want it speeded up, but I know that um, we're gonna make sure that we have a solid foundation for it. And, then the, and the great thing about that is that is that that is something that carries over to the other sports. Yeah, I, mean, I was going to yeah, say. These, these guys, you guys all play multiple mm -hmm. sports. Um, and, and, it, and it's not just like a football thing. It, it's like a sport thing. And even better than that, when, when you guys get into college and you get into your careers, you're going to take so many lessons from, from all the sports you've played, and it's going to give you an advantage on kids that have not played sports. And if you look at all the research done – it'll show you that kids that have played interscholastic sports and football in particular succeed better in not just college, but in their careers. So, so there is a, a big part of your career, whether you realize it or not, with all the work you're putting into your sports, you guys are going to all be, in, in, and I, I honestly, I don't think there's any doubt especially the three of you, you're going to be great successes in your lives because of going through uh, all the sports that you've played and, and football in particular. So that's what I'm trying to get to. I'm trying yeah. to get back to that. And, and I want these guys to come back five years from now and say, hey, Coach, you were right. You were right. Boy, mm -hmm. all this stuff that we learned is really helping. And, and, and then plus you got to compete. You know, right? Exactly. you got to compete in the real world. I mean, it's, it's not – yeah, and I think we're getting too soft anyway. In case. <laughs> That's another conversation for some other time. <laughs> but, uh, but, but you guys are going to be able to compete a lot better. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. You guys got to start talking now. I talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know. So. Oh, man. I got nothing else. I mean, here's some. Okay. Wrap it all up here. Score prediction. You don't have to answer if you don't want to, but... I never. Here, here's my... You know, here's if you don't want to... Here's what I predict. Here's what I predict. And this is what I, I, my, my, my philosophy is for every game. Okay, now you guys help me out here. I want every player on our team to play every play in this game like it's what? Last play of the state, state championship. championship. Yeah, game. so how would you play? How did you feel that last pitch that you threw for the state championship game, right? Get what, it how, you knew you had to make one more pitch, right? I did. So, so make it what your was best. in you, right? It had to be your best. This going to be the very best pitch right, that but, I was but throwing. But how about the first pitch of the game? Same thing. Same thing. Cause because it's the last you, game. It's the last game. Regardless. And even if it was the middle of the season, that's the philosophy you got to mm -hmm. go in with. That exactly. Every play, I'm going to give my best. Now, you don't always I can definitely vouch do for that. I mean, you, you get beat sometime, but hey, Next, the next play, the next pitch, you come back. 
Exactly. And, and that's what we want to get every player on our team to do. And we're on that road right now. That's good. And we're yeah. getting there, but, but we're not there yet. Yeah. So that's my prediction for the game. There you go. Okay. Well, thank All you right. very much for your time, Coach. Good All luck. Right. Okay, guys. Rest of the season. It's right. great having you on this. Great. Thank you very great much. Seeing you guys Thank in you. this position of authority. <laughs> <laughs> there you I, go. I, I want to cherish this moment. <laughs> 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 good. Okay. All right. Thank good. you, Coach, very okay. much.